All right. What up, my people? Yep, I'm out here. I'm out here in it, in it, in it, in it. I feel better today. We got a pretty sunny day up here in Vegas. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely day. Yeah, yeah. I hope y'all handling y'all business. It's Christmas time. Don't let this corona ruin y'all Christmas. Come on now. I feel my grandkids ain't got nobody but their mom and them, so hey. Everything they mama they gon' have to need something from their granny. Time is crazy. Crazy, crazy. I ain't gonna speak on that again though. L I T it. L I T it. Let it go, let it go, let it go. This man all on my behind. He's lucky I just didn't go. 20 miles an hour. I don't play that. Can't okay, nobody make me speed. So, I'm doing this drive and what up with that? Yeah, yeah. I'm about to go to work. Go to work, go to work. Well, I call it work. I'm getting paid for it. Expect it's 30 grandkids, five kids. So, what do you expect? I keep saying, I'm not gonna get no more. I'm not gonna get no more. That's cool. I was gonna make everybody get two things. That mess don't work, it just really don't work with the little kids, the little, little, like you know, eight and under. You know the other ones that's over. Y'all might just expect three presents each. But the little ones, man, I already done passed six for each one of them. <laughs> God. I tried not to do it. Dang, they just run. Y'all hurry, go ahead. Go all around me. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because the sister gonna drive speed. And they did all that and they turned it. I'm right here at the light with them, so why they did all that flying? Flying is a terrible thing to waste. Don't y'all be out here speeding or nothing. It is Christmas holidays. People out here driving crazy and stuff. Hey, don't be that next victim. Shoot. Remember, your kids and grandkids and all that, they need you. You know, that's how I see it. They need us. You know, well, I guess mine got tired of me. They walk away. So I'm out here by myself. By myself, okay. I'm out here by myself, but it's all right with me. You know, but they got lives too. They can't just always sit around, Granny. Them kids live their life. You know, you know, you know. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm just out here. Ride. Riding to work. I now I gotta go to the post office and it's time to get them packages out to grandkids. I got grandkids. Well, you know what? I only got one grandkid in California. In Fresno. My little Miss Michaela, so I got to get her stuff shipped out to her. She been faithfully hooking up granny pictures and everything. She know I got her. I got any of them, you know. They all my grandkids. I don't even care. Even the ones that don't come around. 
I was buying the stuff every year for. And then you have those who just don't even come by to pick it up. Ungratefulness. And every year I would still buy them something because I'm granny. So this year, not. I'm not going to do it to myself no more. I got to think about me. Because the last couple years they done showed me how much I mean to them. So, woo, you don't want to be around? Let's get you out of there. <laughs> I wish I could have seen this thing I did. And this lady thing. I mean, this, oh, God, where it make your face change. And I said, hey. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, it is so pretty out here today. Man. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. There I go. I, let, I did a little vlog in my bathroom this morning. Because I've been MIA. But you know, a little, few little medical things. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. I'm telling y'all, I feel good out here. I think I only need probably a couple more things and I'm through Christmas shopping out of them 30 and the 5 get the, Oh, Coleman. My Coleman. You know, he's not here. He here with me, though. I'm feeling every day, all day. He with me. You know, that was my babe, my firstborn, hey, he can't be but stay with me, he with me. Oh, y'all in this lane, what up, what, what, what up? Y'all got my mask on, everything, well, see, this is what I do. When I go into the, get out this car and I go into a store or something, when I come out that store, I take these gloves and this mask off. And put on a new mask and gloves. Then I get in my car. If I stop again, I do the same thing again. Because, hey, I had corona. It ain't no joke. Back at the beginning of October, the first week of October, I just went and took a test. And it came back positive. Crazy, see? So you don't know if you have it or not. Man, just get a test done. What is the problem? It's nothing. They're going to swab your little nose and move on. Y'all now they acting like it's a drug test or something. Y'all scared? Leave the drugs alone. <laughs> so. Whoa. Drug free. Drug free. Smoke free. Drink free. I'm free. Eh, eh, I'm free. Hey. Yeah, I'm busting a move. Anyway. I'm happy today, so. Blessed day, got that good mute news from the um, doctors yesterday from all these tests I'm taking on these, uh, this, all these nodules in my thyroid and in my chest, but everything came out benign, ba, ba, benign. They just have to watch them. I have to test every three months. That's a blessing. No cancer. No no cancer because I myself when I find out something's wrong with me I take the bad up first because I prepare myself to hear in case it's some bad news I prepare myself for it I already think the worst I don't sit there oh that can't happen to me and all that it can happen to you people better cut it out I ain't going to let that happen to me or all of that. It's a medical condition. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. God got your back through it. But hey, my brother just died on Halloween from cancer, you know. Man, he found out he had cancer in August. And then by October, he was gone, you know. Just a low cell cancer, you know. Didn't even know he had it. I mean, they said he had just got it and it took him that quick. I mean, it's the kind of cancer that hits you quick and it's gone. You know, you got to get tested. On all my videos, I'm going to be saying that. Go get tested for everything. You never know, people. Oh, my God, so many people have died this month that I know. It's just crazy out here. And it ain't from COVID. What's so bad about it? 
It ain't from COVID. It's just medical conditions they done had and not knowing. Not knowing. Get out here. Get some, just get some little ultrasounds and stuff knowing. Go tell the doctor a little bit of something hurt so they can request these tests and get them done so they can see. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling you. I didn't even know I had. They told me I had four nodules in my throat. They wanted me to test for it. And they've been knowing since 2017 when I had the spine surgery in my neck. And never told me crazy. So just think if they wasn't when I when they got the test back and they told me the results yesterday they said no it's not for now there's a lot of them. So just think if they weren't benign you know this is something they could have let me know back in 2017 and I could have probably been doing chemo and stuff and all that to cure it you know just good they're benign. Get out here and get checked for stuff. Ask questions. Because, hey, all they're going to do is put the stuff in your chart, and that's where it's going to lay. Because they could have let me know it's 2020. Man, 2020 almost over. It's almost over. Good, because COVID really messed this year up. Yes, it really messed it up. But it's only like it, how you look at it, too. And I wasn't out hanging out and partying on the strip and all that anyway. So I don't miss none of that because I was never out there doing it. Yeah, that Hey, I'm almost at work. Almost going here and hang with my homegirl. I call her my homegirl. She said I got a room, and this is my room. She has this nice big room with a jacuzzi tub over here and a shower over here. And oh my God, it's just fantastic. And she said that is my room. She went like nobody can go in that room, but she don't have visitors. Her son and them stay in LA, so she don't have people that come over or nothing like that. So I'll be there for her. Yeah, no. I do her grocery shopping and for and everything she need to be done because she don't go out the house. So Susie in the house, whoop, whoop, Susie in the house. You find an elderly person that you know uh, that need help, help them. You know you got a, a family member that's old and you know they can't get out and do something, ask them. They might want to go to the store. They might want to go cross Christmas shopping or something. Some people just don't want to ask people. They don't want to be a burden on nobody. Man, ask them. Help them. Because I'm not going to never let her need for nothing. Never. Why should she, you know? You know, she do holidays, everything by herself because her kids don't want to try. So they just leave her hanging. I'm going to be there for her. You better believe it. A couple of my clients are like that. But I'm going to be there for them. Shoes, if they let me go come in and do some stuff for them, I'm there. And I'm going to do it, you know. I'm telling you. People got to get out here and help. Help, 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 help. Elderly people. A homeless person, if you see them in like if you see a homeless person that's always around where you are the what you got extra coats and oh my god, I don't know where this lady was going. Oh boy, she's on something. She doing some steps and stuff, walking. And anyway, and they need coats, you know you got extra coats in your house and stuff that just been sitting there. Get this stuff in a bag and go give it to them, you know? Gosh people be home, homeless, you know, just help them out. People be saying, well, they don't have to be like that, you know. You, how do you know, you know? How do you know their situation? People need to stop judging me. Cut it out. Man, 
Like every now and then I break down and cry because I have I hold in so much about Steve and if sometimes something can come on and it'll bring him up to me and you know, I'll probably start crying and stuff. And people be saying, Oh, why you be crying? Because it's, if, if that's the case, maybe something made me cry. God, what does it mean to you? Why is you so negative about it? Because the same crying I do it. It's probably the same thing you do when you're in your room or something like that. So stop judging other people. You're worried about yourself. You know, you got to be negative and stuff. And if I might break down on my page or something, you don't think it's cool, then you can get off my page. Whoa. Then you it wouldn't be a burden to you. Move it on. But with that being said, y'all, I just pulled up at my destination. And a sister about to get out. I got this pullover sweater on. God, now I'm going to have to get in here and pull that off. Mess up my cute hair because I'll be thinking I'm cute, you know. Which I am at 61. I am very cute. Conceited. But don't worry about what people say because I don't. People not in your pocket. They don't know what you're doing or none of that. They just want to put their own little assumptions together and all that. Don't let nobody take your joy. Don't let nobody, nobody. I don't care what they say. But y'all get out. This is the tease to season to be jolly. If you know somebody that has passed away and had some children, and you got a little extra change, throw them in a gift. You know, you can go out and get a good gift for $5 these days. You know, think about the children. So, y'all, I got to go. Got a cough drop up this throat, though, because the test came out that it wasn't cancer, but I still got a lot of nodules and a lot of pain. Oh, this sickles on my teeth. I always forget the clothes on my sunroof. I better quit that for I come back and somebody be in my car. I'm right here. They just be calling me. But uh, y'all, I enjoy y'all. Be getting back with y'all later.